Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to read earned value management in Primavera P6. This is totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. The first step to get the earned value in Primavera P6 is to assign the budgeted cost to all the activities in your program. Then we assign those costs we created as a baseline to our updated program. The next step is to update our program with accurate actual costs for each activity. I have updated this program until data date here as of May 15th. At this updated program I have provided the actual costs to all activities. Normally we can get our activities actual costs from our account department or from our invoices. Sometimes we can use our payment certificates for the purpose of knowing our actual costs. Now we will analyze this project budgeted costs and actual costs using the earned value management technique. For this purpose, we need to add some columns as the one I added here. To add those columns, we can use the add columns here and then choose to customize. From available options we can see earned value list here. And then we can add all required columns as the one I already added. I have here budgeted completion plan, plan value cost, earned value cost, and the actual cost. We can see the schedule performance index as well, cost performance index and finally variance at completion. It may sound complicated but don't worry we will explain one by one. Now I have updated my program until data date. As per the data date the planned progress is 29.1%. And the actual performance percentage is 20.93%. The budget at the completion is 5400 which means that our budget the completion of the project was planned to be equal to this amount. Here we can see plan value cost equal to 1566. This the cost we plan to spend as per the program up to our data date. The Primavera P6 calculates this plan value by multiplying the budget at completion with the plan schedule percentage complete. So, what is the earned value cost? The earned value cost is the amounts of work we have done to date, it means the amount we should get from the works done to date. It is calculated by multiplying the performance percentage complete with the budget at completion. And the actual cost is the real amounts we get from our bills, and we enter to our program. So let me summarize it again. The planned value is calculated by multiplying the budget at completion with the planned percentage schedule. The earned value cost is the cost we earn from the progress we done, so it's equal to budget at completion multiply with performance percentage. The actual cost is equal to the actual cost we gain and manually entered to our program. Next is what is Scheduled Performance Index. Also, it's called SPI referring to Scheduled Performance Index. It is equal to the earned value divided by the planned value. If the SPI ratio is less than 1, this means that the value we earn from our progress is less than planned which is negative sign. If the SPI value is equal to 1, this means that the earned value we gained from progress we made is equal to the planned value at this data date. If the SPI value is more than 1, this means that our earned value we got from our progress is more than the planned value which means that we are using less cost than we have estimated. Next is the cost performance index. It is equal to the earned value costs divided by the actual costs. It is known also as CPI. So here at the top we can see that our cost performance index is equal to 0 0.93. This means that our project earned values from our progress to date is less than our actual costs. This means that our project is losing money to date. date. Also, we can see here the variance at completion. 
This amount is equal to minus 134 which means that our project is losing money until now. So, our estimated completion cost has increased from the $5,400 to the $5,534 as you can see here. So, this is a quick look on how to check you earned value figures using Primavera P6. So, all you need is to add all these columns from the earned value section at your program, and then you will be able to analyze your project earned values. Earned value management can help you to know your project status at the time you updated your schedule. From the sample project above, we figured from our analysis that our project has a loss of 134 which would be an alert for us to keep monitoring the cost. So, this is a quick summary of earned value management is Primavera P6. There is a lot more to learn about this subject, and we will do our best to cover it within our next videos. Hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching.